welcome back to our kitchen. Today we're going to be making chicken and dressing. It's a family favorite here at our house. Um, hopefully it'll be one at yours after we get done making this. Um, I've already made this 8 inch round cornbread and I've made a video for it. So we're going to crumble this up in the bowl. I've also got some biscuits that I made. You don't have to use biscuits, but you can use uh, about eight to ten slices of bread. And we're going to crumble all this up in a bowl like this. And you use your hands as long as you've washed them, you know, in the soap and water real good. And we're going to crumble all the biscuits up and all the cornbread up. And then we're going to add the rest of our ingredients to make our chicken and dressing. Okay, so I have my cornbread crumbled up and I think seven to eight biscuits that I crumbled up, but remember I said that you could um, use bread that's been sitting out, about eight to 10 slices. I just like to use the biscuits because they're easier to crumble. So I've added to um, this uh, bread mixture, two cans of cream of chicken soup, the 10 and a half ounce cans. And I'm gonna add four eggs to our mixture. And this is a fourth of a teaspoon of pepper, a teaspoon of salt, and this is two tablespoons of sage, but I'm just going to put half, and then I like to taste it, but I usually end up putting two, two of the tablespoons in there. And I like Dalmatian sage, but you can use any sage you like. And I'm going to put about two cups of chicken broth in there, and it depends on how it soaks it up if we need to add more. So we're going to mix this together. I'm going to try not to make a mess. And you just need to uh, try to get everything mixed in there well. This may take a minute. And if it looks dry, you just add a little more chicken broth to it. But I'll start out with two cups but you may need more. So, I think I'm gonna add just a little more broth here in a second. I'm trying to get my eggs broken up and mixed in there good. So this recipe <laughs> for dressing, I'm gonna put in the crock pot and I like the, to do that because you can actually make this the day before and put it in your crock pot insert and put it in the fridge and then get it out when you're ready um, to make it or to cook it. And um, that way you've already got the biggest part of your meal done if you're doing chicken and dressing that day. So I'm gonna add a little bit more of the chicken broth to make it a little bit more wet. Make sure everything is um, mixed together well. Looks like my eggs are better. I like to put extra, I'll probably put an extra cup of chicken broth in here. So that'll be three cups instead of the two that we started with. I'm going to get this and then I taste mine to see if I have enough sage because I like sage in mine but it's your kitchen so you add as much salt and pepper and sage as you like. Like I said I'll probably add the rest of this sage to it to give it some more flavor. I just I just like the taste of sage. So. Okay we have this mixed together so I'll be back to show you how I put the dressing and the chicken in the crock pot. Okay, I have my crock pot ready. I have a plastic liner. I don't know if you 
use these or not, but I love them. They um, really help with cleanup. So I'm going to start by adding some of the dressing to the bottom of the crock pot. And I guess I might have needed to talk, tell you this a little earlier, but you need to co uh, cook about three large chicken breasts. Um, until they're cooked through because you're going to add chicken to this if you want to now you could go ahead and just add the, the dressing and cook it in the crock pot and you wouldn't have and you could have turkey but I'm doing chicken today with my dressing so that's probably about a third of the dressing in the crock pot and then I add a layer so about one of the chicken breasts that I've shredded. And the way I keep this moist is I take some of a can of cream of chicken soup mix and I layer that on top of the chicken so it doesn't dry out in the cooking process. So I just kinda put a little layer of the uh, cream of chicken soup on there. And that'll keep your chicken moist if you wanted to do the chicken in between. This just makes a simpler meal. And so then I add some more dressing. Put that on top. I think I'm just gonna bring the bowl over it and to do it a little faster so that doesn't take so long and you spread that over that chicken layer and just a little bit more and then you add some more chicken to it so you have some layers that way when people go to dip you get chicken so that's probably another chicken breast that's in there and then I add some more soup mixture on to top of that I'm going to get another can about one and a half cans of chicken soup cream of chicken soup I just add that to keep the chicken from from drying out when you're cooking it because it depends on how long you're gonna cook it <clears throat> how much it might dry out so I'm gonna put the rest of the dressing on top of that layer spread it out and then my final layer is going to be my chicken and then the soup and yes my hands are clean I'm just trying to get the dressing off the spoon That's what these southern cooks do down here you improvise with what you have all right so let's finish this up I'm going to put the rest of our chicken on top and then the rest of this can of soup. And then it'll be ready to cook it if you're wanting to cook it. If you want to, you could take the insert out of your crock pot and put it in the fridge over dot. Um, if you don't do chicken and you just want to do your dressing, I would put probably two tablespoons of butter cut up on top of it to kind of keep it moist for when you cook it in the crock pot. So if you're cooking it just right now, I would cook it on high for two hours or low for four 
but if you get it out of the fridge cold, I would probably cook it an extra hour on low or high, however long you're going to cook it. I hope you enjoy this recipe for chicken and dressing. Um, we'll add a video or a picture at the end of our video to let you see what it looks like after it's cooked. Thanks for watching.